All right, now we have example three from section 1.6, and this is involving uh, solving an inverse variation. Before, in the last video, in the last slide, we, we were discussing direct variation. Uh, now we're dealing with inverse variation. Uh, now, the problem is, if you understand what we did in the previous video on direct variation, it's not that far of a leap to figure out this. Um, now, the only difference, really, um, is the wording, and, and we have varies inversely. So if we have an inverse variation, that we have the wording varies inversely. Or uh, and the other wording for it is inversely proportional. Uh, so notice it varies inversely right here. Okay, so if, we, if it varies inversely, then um, we know, so if we have y varies inversely, so y varies inversely as the variable of uh, the variable x, so something varies inversely to x, then we are in the form y equals k divided by x. Okay, so, um, and k is a constant. Um, so, and k is treated the same way as the previous video, where you may have to solve for it in the same process. So we have the same sort of three-step process, but we just have a different form of an equation. So let's read through the problem and we can figure this out. So Boyle's law uh, states that the volume V of a sa uh, sample of gas varies inversely. So V varies inversely. So I'm using K divided by the pressure P. And so we write it like this, similar to Y equals K divided by X y varies inversely at the variable x, y equals k divided by x, so v is varies inversely to p, so v divided by, or v equals k divided by p. So, um, similar to the three-step process from the last video, we found the equation, now we need to plug in um, the given information, which would be v and p, to solve for k. So the volume of a gas in a J-shaped tube is 75 milliliters. So 75. And we plug in the value, the pressure, given pressure is 1.5. Okay, so we know that when you have 75 milliliters um, volume, we have 1.5 uh, atmospheres of pressure. Find the volume of the gas when the pressure so uh, is 2.5. So we want to find the volume, but first we need to uh, solve for k. In this case, since we have an inverse variation, we have something on the denominator. So we need must multiply to get it out of the denominator. And that will give us k equals what is now uh, 1.5 times 75, which is 112.5. So we can plug this back into, into the equation, um, our value for k. So it's 112. Since k is on the numerator, we write it up there. So we see it up there, and we, we're still dividing by p. So all we've done is substitute our value for k. Now we can solve the, the question. Find the volume of the gas when the pressure is increased to 2.5 atmospheres. So we want to solve for volume, v and we have 2.5 pressure, P, the um, atmospheres. So 112.5 divided by 2.5. And that gives us 112.5 divided by 2.5 is V equals 45. And the, um, remember your units, and that's milliliters. Okay, and we are done. All right, as you can see, it's the same. I didn't use three colors this time. I should have switched over um, right around here. But um, there's this same three-step process that we've discussed in the previous video. And that's it. Um, so again, as mentioned in the previous video, you may be asked to solve for K. You may be asked to solve for different things, but this is the full process. All right, let me know if you have any concerns.